Welcome to Aviation World. Welcome to this presentation of the A320 series Ground Proximity Warning System, otherwise known as JIPWIZ. The system is designed to avoid controlled flight into terrain and to give the crew enough time to perform an avoidance maneuver. Let's start with a quick overview of the system. The JIPWIZ includes basic ground proximity warning system features plus enhanced features. For simplicity, we will refer to the entire system as JIPWIZ throughout this lesson. The enhanced features are independent of the basic JIPWIZ. Therefore, the basic JIPWIZ will function even if a fault exists that affects the enhanced features. The basic JIPWIZ relies heavily upon radio altitude to provide oral and visual warnings for its protection modes. For this reason, the basic JIPWIZ is limited in its protection capability. It cannot predict rapidly rising terrain ahead of the aircraft in a timely manner. Some of the basic JIPWIZ warnings are listed here. The enhanced features are predictive. The system looks ahead to provide the crew with an early awareness of a potential terrain conflict. Instead of relying solely on radio altitude, the enhanced JIPWIZ uses an improved altitude calculation that predicts terrain conflicts in a more timely manner. Terrain information is visually displayed on each ND, similar to a weather radar display. The image is color coded based on the relative height of terrain above or below the aircraft's altitude. The enhanced JIPWIZ uses position information from FMGC1 and an internal worldwide terrain database to predict conflicts. The enhanced features include terrain awareness display, terrain clearance floor, and runway field clearance floor. We will take a closer look at these features in the normal operations section. That concludes the overview section. Let's look at some controls and indicators. JIPWIZ controls are located on the overhead panel. Before flight, the JIPWIZ panel should be lights out. This indicates that the system is functioning normally. The push buttons on this panel are used to deactivate or modify certain warnings. Let's take a closer look at these push buttons. The terrain push button allows the crew to deactivate the enhanced features. Keep in mind that the enhanced features are independent of the basic JIPWIZ. Selecting the terrain push button off only deactivates the enhanced features. It does not affect basic JIPWIZ. We will now select the terrain push button off. The white off light illuminates in the terrain push button and a nav JIPWIZ terrain detection fault message is displayed on the EWD. The system push button is used to deactivate the basic JIPWIZ modes. All basic JIPWIZ modes are available with the push button in a lights out condition. Selecting the system push button off deactivates the basic JIPWIZ. We will now select the system push button off. All basic warnings are now deactivated. Note, if ILS receiver 1 fails, glide slope warnings are deactivated. The fault light does not illuminate and a JIPWIZ fault is not triggered. The glide slope mode push button is used to inhibit nuisance glide slope warnings. For example, if a glide slope is notumed unreliable. Selecting the glide slope mode push button off deactivates the glide slope warnings. We will now select the glide slope mode push button off. Glide slope warnings are now deactivated. Due to certain malfunctions, it may be necessary to land with the flaps in an abnormal position. Selecting the flap mode push button off deactivates all flap position related warnings. We will now select the flap mode push button off. Flap warnings are now deactivated and the flap mode off memo is displayed on the EWD. The landing flap 3 push button is used if the crew intends to land flaps 3. This modifies the flap warning to occur based on flaps 3 instead of flaps full. We will now select the landing flap 3 push button on. The white on light illuminates in the landing flap 3 push button and the JIPWIZ flap 3 memo is displayed on the EWD. If the crew attempts to land in a configuration other than flaps 3, a warning will be generated. The red pull up or amber JIPWIZ lights on the forward instrument panel illuminate if a warning occurs. 
Light illumination is dependent on the type of warning. Certain warnings cause the pull-up lights to illuminate. Certain other warnings cause the jip whiz lights to illuminate. Both lights are also push buttons. A test of the system can be initiated by pushing either push button. Pushing a button briefly causes the lights to illuminate and some of the oral warnings to sound. If a push button is pushed and held, all of the oral warnings will sound. Two loudspeakers, located on the lower outboard side of each pilot's instrument panel, broadcast oral warnings. These warnings are provided even if the loudspeaker volume is turned off. The audio volume of these messages cannot be controlled using the loudspeaker volume knobs. It is important to note that the crew should react immediately to any jip whiz warning without attempting to assess its validity. The Enhance features provide the ability to display terrain images on the NDs. Terrain is selected for display on the respective ND using the Terrain on ND push buttons on each side of the forward instrument panel. If a terrain caution or warning occurs, terrain is displayed on the NDs automatically even if the terrain on ND push buttons were not selected on. We will cover the terrain display on the NDs in the normal operation section, and that's where we're going now. In the normal operation section, we will discuss JIPWIZ caution and warning messages. We will also learn more about the system's enhanced features. We are in flight and taking in some interesting scenery. Let's take a look at how this terrain might be displayed on the ND. We have selected the Terrain on ND push button on for you. The terrain display appears similar to the radar display, but there are some key differences. The terrain display has a different image texture than a radar image. The terrain display sweeps, or updates, from the center of the ND out. The terrain message is displayed in the lower right-hand corner of the NDs instead of radar tilt information. Terrain information is displayed on the ND in arc or rose modes. Terrain cannot be displayed in the plan mode. The terrain elevation surrounding the aircraft is color-coded. The terrain is displayed in various densities of green, yellow, red, or magenta, depending upon the threat. Areas that are amber or red indicate terrain that is above the aircraft's altitude and must be avoided. The brightness of the terrain image on the ND is controlled using the outer ring of the ND brightness control knob. The outer ring is also used to control the brightness of the weather radar image. The inner knob is used to control the brightness of other items displayed on the ND. If the terrain radar brightness is set too low and a terrain alert occurs, the terrain display may not be visible. If terrain is displayed either automatically or manually, the radar display is suppressed. Let's discuss automatic terrain display now. The enhanced portion of the JIPWIZ calculates caution and warning envelopes based on aircraft position, the terrain database, closure rate with terrain, and several other factors. A terrain caution is generated if impact with terrain is predicted to occur within approximately 60 seconds. A terrain warning is generated if impact with terrain is predicted to occur within approximately 30 seconds. The caution and warning envelopes are modified during turns to look along the aircraft's flight path. Terrain cautions and warnings result in pop-up displays of terrain on the NDs. This is known as the terrain awareness display feature. If the caution envelope is penetrated, the areas which violate the caution envelope are automatically displayed in solid yellow on the NDs. An amber terrain ahead message is displayed on the NDs. A repeated caution terrain oral alert is generated. The red pull-up lights illuminate. And the weather radar display is suppressed. If the terrain warning envelope is penetrated, the areas which violate the warning envelope are automatically displayed in solid red on the NDs. A red terrain ahead message is displayed on the NDs. A repeated terrain, terrain, pull up, oral warning is generated. The red pull up lights illuminate. And the weather radar display is suppressed. The crew must react immediately without attempting to assess its validity. Let's discuss JIPWIZ warning recovery now. If a terrain warning or caution occurs with an ND in plan mode, a terrain change mode message is displayed on the respective ND in red or amber as appropriate. Terrain warnings and cautions can only be displayed with a range of less than 160 nautical miles selected. 
If a range of 160 or 320 nautical miles is selected and a terrain warning or caution occurs, a terrain reduce range message is displayed on the respective ND in red or amber as appropriate. The terrain display is only intended as a situational awareness tool. It may not provide the accuracy on which to solely base terrain avoidance maneuvers. For this reason, the terrain avoidance maneuver is based upon a straight ahead, wings level, maximum performance climb. It is also important to note that the database, display, and alerting do not currently take into account man-made obstructions. Flight crews are authorized to deviate from their current ATC clearance to the extent necessary to comply with a JITWIS warning. The terrain avoidance maneuver must be applied immediately if a warning occurs during night or IMC conditions. During daylight VMC conditions, with terrain and obstacles clearly in sight, the alert may be considered cautionary. Take positive corrective action until the alert ceases or a safe trajectory is ensured. The terrain avoidance maneuver is mandatory if the pull-up or terrain terrain pull-up oral warnings sound. There are other JIPWIS oral warnings that do not require the full terrain avoidance maneuver. In most cases, a correction to the aircraft's flight path or configuration is all that is required. In addition to the terrain awareness display feature, another enhanced feature is something known as the terrain clearance floor. Let's go there now. The terrain clearance floor is an enhanced feature that provides alerts if the aircraft prematurely descends below a normal approach slope. Runway locations are contained in the database. The system creates a clearance floor overlaying existing terrain and spreading outward from the edge of each runway. Actual, not predicted altitude is used in generating warnings. If a descent below this clearance floor is detected, the warning too low terrain sounds regardless of aircraft configuration. Advance now to see what happens if the aircraft penetrates the terrain clearance floor. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. The runway field clearance floor is another enhanced function. It provides protection for runways that are significantly higher than the surrounding terrain. If a descent below this clearance floor is detected, the warning too low terrain sounds, regardless of aircraft configuration. If the aircraft penetrates the warning area, a pull-up oral warning will be enunciated. Advance now to see what happens if the aircraft penetrates the runway field clearance floor. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. All right, now we're into abnormal operations. In this section, we will take a look at some failures and how they affect the JIPWIS. The enhanced functions of the JIPWIS are automatically deselected if aircraft position, provided by FMGC-1, is not meeting the minimum accuracy requirements. Terrain standby is displayed on the EWD and the terrain display is deselected until a higher level of navigation accuracy is restored. The terrain standby message is inhibited above 8,000 feet AGL. In this situation, the basic JIPWIS functions are still available. If the enhanced features fail, the amber fault light illuminates in the terrain push button. It is accompanied by an ECAM message, and terrain will no longer be displayed on the NDs. In this case, selecting the terrain push button off has no effect. We will select the terrain push button off now. The terrain display, terrain clearance floor, and runway field clearance floor functions are all lost. The basic JIPWIS modes are still available. If the basic JIPWIS fails, the amber fault light illuminates in the system push button. The fault light is accompanied by an ECAM message. We will now select the system push button off. The basic JIPWIS functions are not available. However, the enhanced features remain. There are only a couple of minor differences in JIPWIS operation. Let's take a look at the visual indications. The visual warning lights are different on some aircraft. The red JIPWIS and pull-up lights function essentially the same. The amber glide slope light illuminates if the aircraft is detected below the glide slope. It will be accompanied by an oral glide slope warning. Some of the aircraft in the fleet do not have the runway field clearance floor feature installed.
Thank you.